Hey folks, thanks for stopping by and joining us on our journey of Discovery Adventures UK. This vlog we're going to jet you off to the sunny island of Madeira. I hope you all enjoyed part 1, this is part 2 of exploring Madeira. We're going to take you up the cable car this time and we're going to explore and see some stunning scenery. So get that brew on, sit down, relax and enjoy the vlog. We ended part 1 with some traditional Madeirian dancing, I hope you all enjoyed that. Here's some more where the audience got to participate, I got involved and it was really good fun. After that we'll then get going up the cable car and bring you some more stunning scenery. views, mountains over there, and then sea view down there. Good morning, it's half past nine. We're heading towards the cable car, like I just mentioned, and we're about where all the cruise ships are now. So, just gonna uh, turn the camera around so you can uh, see what a wonderful, glorious morning it is. It's quite warm as well, isn't it? It's really warm. Like, uh, I think it's 30 degrees on there, and it's only half past nine. Can you, can you believe it in November? Okay, let me uh, spin you around and you'll. See what we're seeing. So we're just making our way to the cable car which will take us up to Monte. Monte is a lovely village to visit if you're in Madeira. It's home to two botanical gardens, the Botanical Garden of Madeira and the Monte Palace Tropical Garden. It's also home to the famous Monte Sledge which is the wicker toboggan dating back to the 1850s. You'll see this very shortly. So if you're all ready let's head towards the cable car for an exhilarating journey above nature.
مور مهمة مور مهمة What do you think to that then? That's good, that one, eh? Maybe not. It does when you cover up for them things. Here we have the Monte Palace Gardens, just here, on your left. And along this cobbled street, we're going to come and see the toboggan famous baskets going down the hill. That's them gardens, what we did last time. It's gorgeous though, isn't it, aren't they? Yeah. Hey, you can see some of them now, look. Just in front of you, you'll see the wicker baskets, which were original, dated back to the 1850s. This was a murder transport for people coming from Monty down to Funchal. There's the baskets, what we went on. These now are a famous tourist attraction which attracts thousands of visitors every year. The downhill journey is about 10 minutes on a total course of 2 kilometers, reaching speeds of up to 30 miles an hour. It's very adventurous and very recommended. We did this last time on holiday and it was really good fun. There was fun there last time where you went on them, weren't they? There they go. Let me see if I can get them. So yeah, we decided to do a Levada walk down to some botan botanical gardens um, and then we're off exploring somewhere else. <laughs> oh, toilets, that's where he's gone. Right. Wonder where you've gone. Yeah, we came up all them steps, didn't we? Well, we're going, it looks like we're going down the steps this time. No, when I came up there and I was filming and I was like, where's he gone? <laughs> I just saw you disappearing. Hey, look, it says WC there. Yeah. 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 Looks like you can go in there. But... And a view. So as you can see, just behind me is the second cable car, which takes you from Monty to the Botanical Gardens, the 
not the palace ones which I showed you earlier, the ones that we're going to. Now that's the shortcut. We're not going to take that. We're doing the walk, which is about an hour. Is it an hour? An hour and a half. Uh, looks like through the jungle. <laughs> and a lovely couple. We've just literally, aren't we? Just going along, watching the cable car over the edge. And this lovely couple says, do you want free tickets? Because we bought them, but she couldn't go on them, bless her, because her legs and that uh, went jelly and it does look quite scary. So she gave us two free tickets, uh, already paid for, onto the cable car and the botanical gardens. Well, of course, we're not going to go on the cable car, but she said, oh, you was on to get into the botanical gardens then, wasn't she? Nice, very nice. Yeah. Lovely couple from Swansea in Wales. So we're going to head and do this little I say a little if I had a walk, I don't Down think it's going to... Yeah, it's an hour and a half, so let's go. See the cable car going down. A little lizard running around. Another one down. Let's do another one. That was amazing. They're just literally wandering around with your feet, a little lizards. Um, we've had to come onto the road because part of the walk which we will plan to do is shut off. So it looks like we're going to have to follow the road down to the botanical gardens now. Really quiet roads these are. Good job with me driving tomorrow. Bit of lunch before going into the botanical gardens. Yeah, we just walked. Cheese for me. To get here. Tuna for Lee. Welcome to the Madeira Botanical Gardens, housing more than 2,000 exotic plants from all over the continent and covering about 8 hectares. These botanical gardens, created in the 1960s, are full of colour and nature. Enjoy the peace and tranquillity as we take you around. Let's 
I got pickled. After visiting the gardens we decided to take the cable car back across to Monty and then walk from Monty down to Funchal. There's the walk we started earlier. Okay. Right. I'll let you off first. This one just stops. There we go, wow. Oh. There we go. One of the longest hills ever. Oh. Where's the walk up there? I, I won't even like imagine. Oh. Oh. I've still got ages to go, look. Oh. When I said about don't come to Madeira if you don't like hills. Well, we're walking, well, we've walked from Monte, aren't we? Monte, yeah. All the way from Monte, all the way back into Funchal, and it's all downhill, like that. Look, I think you can tell behind us. And then my legs are hurting, <laughs> and we've still got ages to go, yeah? Oh, there's a bus stop, but no bus. <laughs> it's gone so dark behind us, you probably can see. Look, how dark it's gone. It's like following us, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, so we're heading back down to Funchal. We made it back to Funchal before dusk and decided to browse around the shops before getting a bite to eat and then heading back to the hotel.
Hi. We're back at the hotel. It's time to relax now. Got my cuppa. I've got some of these which I've heard lots about. Our traditional Portuguese custard tarts. Never tried them, so I'm gonna see what they're like. It's supposed to be really, really nice. Um when we was purchasing them, um outside with loads of fireworks going off. So we've rushed out and uh, managed to film some of them. So I hope you enjoy them. Here they are. Well that's it for part 2, I hope you've all enjoyed. Look out for part 3 when we go in our hire car and whiz around the island. Don't forget to like and subscribe and continue supporting us. Don't forget to check out our website and gift shop. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all soon. <coughs>